Well, if you're watching this, you may be interested in who Pete McLeod is. Um, that's me, I'm a singer-songwriter from Coat Bridge. Um, in Coat Bridge, there's a smaller place called Kitwood. And uh, that's actually where I, where I was brought up as a child. And uh, the Coat Bridge is the town centre. Um, where lots of little areas in Coat Bridge. Um, that's where people kind of used to go, not as much now. But um, yeah, so I'm a Scottish singer-songwriter in my thirties, and I'm from a from a small town called Coat Bridge. I was brought up in Kirkwood, as I said, from uh, a place called uh, Aikenhead Avenue, um, 44 Aikenhead Avenue, and then moved the crossroad to 55 Aikenhead Avenue. I was quite fond of that house, I remember. Having a lot of good times in it. My room was a uh, bedroom upstairs. Um, but I think it was directly above the door. Um, yeah, and I went to a primary school called Old Mountain Primary. I had good times there. I had a lot of friends that went to the school next to that, which was a, a Catholic school, St Monica's. I was quite confused at that, I remember when I was five years old or whatever you whatever age it was when I went to school. I used to kick a kick about a place called Swinton Crescent playing a lot of football there with my mates and there was like rock, the council put rocks there and playing old ball games in the grass pitch, I remember that and people just used it as goalposts and stuff and um, just to kind of knock about down the Kirtley Sports Bar and uh, it was just down the road from where we all lived we used to hang about, hang about there quite young for uh, drinking or anything at that, at that age I remember when I was uh, I don't know, nine <laughs> I don't think it was I was drinking that early, um, but uh, we used to cut about down there and then obviously as we turned into our, you know, 14, 13, 13, 14 year old we'd uh, kick a ball about down the park, hang about there and get get drunk at weekends and stuff and, and uh, you know, listen to music and play music and just kind of, we'd all hang about and have good times together and uh, it was basically pretty much the only thing you could do, I think, at that age, in if you were uh, living in Kitwood, um, try to stay out of trouble as much as you could, but, you know, anywhere where there was mystery, I think that's where you would find me and all my mates going down to the, the viaduct, hanging about down there, you know, just uh, getting, it, getting up to no good as much as we, we possibly could, cutting about um, down there. I remember there was a kind of something, a sewerage kind of thing, down a hill and uh, we used to cut about there and we used to have lots of swings and stuff on trees and you know just just kind of nonsense you'd get up to at that age um, I always remember walking about the, the music we always had uh, there was all the groups of us different groups of us always cutting about um, at the viaduct and we'd all just kind of like obviously play games and stuff like that which is a place with the uh, Later on in my childhood, I, put, I went back to um, with with a guitar and um, dogging dogging school in the secondary years. I remember for the fourth year, not really kind of been bored with high school anymore. Kind of like lost faith in the teachers, and uh, obviously I didn't really know what I wanted to do then. But I was big in music and, and big in football, like everybody else um, that I grew up with. I went to Rose Hall High School, um, which uh, when I came back from Los Angeles, discovered that uh, was no longer there. <laughs> so I guess that uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, it's just a sign of the times that when you know you're getting older, when your high school isn't isn't there anymore. It's now a uh, it's not actually a school exactly where my school was, but there's a there's a new school beside where it was. Um, yeah, so kind of like remember just going to the viaduct, third and fourth year, um, spending our lunch money in fags and uh, you know newspapers or whatever, and just kind of smoking. And uh, remember, um, just we moved. Actually, my parents, my family moved up to stay with my gran at the top of Mitchell Street, um, and he's the viaduct was just down down the road from that. So it was, a, it was a, a quick and easy route to, to go and hide from uh, parents and teachers and anyone else that had uh, 
no thinking you were dogging it. Uh, after high school, I went to Coatbridge College and uh, done a couple of courses there, but um, I still kind of really didn't really know what I wanted to do and just was messing about with different songs and stuff like that. I always writing my own songs. Um, and then basically from there, the kind of various jobs and stuff. I had, uh, um, through my twenties, I moved to, to Los Angeles and, um, you know, kind of just continued my music out there. And, um, yeah, so Los Angeles was a good experience. It was a lot different from Cope Ridge, um, a lot different from Kirkwood, but it was, a, it was an eye-opener. Um, uh, had a good time playing music and met a lot of new friends out there and uh, had a good time, basically. And, yeah, Los Angeles was a, was a big part of my life, five years I was over there for. And, um, yeah. Did a lot of gigs, met uh, Alan McGee out there and had a lot of uh, conversations with him about music and stuff. And then uh, I chose to come back to, to live in Coat Bridge and, and uh, from that I formed a band called uh, Pete McLeod and the Cancerians and we played our first gig at the uh, Eagle Inn which is in Kitwood. Where, uh, where I, where I was brought up, basically, and we played there recently, and had a had a, had a really good gig. I felt I thought we've got another one the 28th of October this year, 2011, and uh, yeah, decided to call the band the Cancerians because they're all uh, they're all Cancerians, and uh, I'm a Leo, and Leo's actually in my, my surname, Pete McLeod, so Pete McLeod and the Cancerians. Well, I've just written a, a lot of a new songs, basically. I'm looking forward to playing them live for everyone. And uh, with my band and also with Bonehead, that was in Oasis. Did a tour with Bonehead in 2008. Um, did a tour with Ocean Colour Scene in 2007. And then but, uh, met Bonehead after that. And we got talking through Al McGee. And Bonehead uh, liked what I was doing. My, my singing and my songs. And basically we got together, did that tour and we're going to do that tour again now in 2011. And we're doing a gig in Newcastle in December and then we're doing a tour in February and Al McGee's going to be DJing on all the dates that we're doing a Scottish tour in February. And I'm looking forward to doing that and also doing gigs with, uh, with the band as well, people following the Can Serians. Here's to the future and I hope you uh, you's all follow with interest in what I'm up to next. And uh, it's been a good ride so far, Rolling Stone. Said you 